Have you heard the hottest rock band called Natural Killer Cells? I first caught their act in grad school when I learned that scientists discovered a special group of white blood cells that could destroy tumor cells without any prior learning. They were just born and killed, naturally. Because of their spontaneous killing ability, they earned the name Natural Killers. It turns out these microscopic rock stars are your body's first line of defense, taking out infectious and cancerous cells before they can even go on tour. And their biggest promoter? Exercise. Check out my long form video on my YouTube channel to learn more about exercise in the immune system. For years, people thought hard workouts weakened the immune system, the so called open window theory. But research by Campbell and Turner show that post exercise drops in immune cells aren't suppression, they're remix. Your natural killer and other immune cells don't disappear, they move into the tissue scanning for hidden invaders. Studies by Nyman and Wentz reveal that 30 to 40 minutes of moderate exercise boosts natural killer cell circulation. And enhances antibody response and keeps inflammation low. And Simpson et al. agreed, even elite athletes aren't doomed to immune burnout. It's the overtraining, poor sleep, and lack of calories that wreck the immune system's harmony, not the workout itself. But as we age, natural killer and other immune cells lose some of their punch. The good news is that research shows that lifelong exercisers keep their immune cells younger. Stronger natural killer cell activity, fewer exhausted T cells, and lower inflammation. The chronic low-grade inflammation that comes with aging, even without infection. So yeah, your body has a natural killer band, and every workout is a live performance. Keep moving, keep rehearsing, and your natural killer cells and their groupie cells will keep you rocking good health. Go to my YouTube channel for for more fact-based content to keep you moving to hits like Cytotoxic Love and Open Window Blues. As always, my answers come from peer-reviewed research.